the traveling caravan stops in St. Louis on Sunday. Bring your peanuts because they've got the elephants and the big top here in St. Louis. Uh, Stephen Roberts with ABC News. Good morning, Stephen Roberts. Hey, McGraw. All right. So the uh, expectations game for the both of them, normally they play them down. This time it seems like both sides are playing them up. Well, I think the uh, the heat is really on Trump. Uh, Clinton's role is to stay steady, stay cool, uh, reinforce her argument that she's got the temperament and the experience to be president, and also to needle Donald Trump. Uh, one of the uh, interesting dimensions of this uh, debate season, McGraw, is that the fact that the Clinton campaign has spent a lot of time studying uh, Trump's psychological profile and figuring out what can they say? How can they needle him? How can they provoke him? Clearly, in the first debate, they were quite successful. And so they're going to do it again uh, and try to do it again. And this is a very different format. Uh, we're, half the questions will be asked by individual voters. Clinton is not great at that format, but she's much more experienced. Trump has done very few of these events. If you think about the campaign, he almost always settles for these big rallies where he's at his best. He's a professional entertainer. He's an amateur politician, but he's a professional entertainer. He's like a rock singer, you know, in these big uh, crowds, and he gets heated up, and he he, he does his encore numbers, and, and everybody's fla jumping up and down and flashing their flashlights, literally, figuratively, if not literally. But um, in this debate, it's going to be one-on-one -on -one with individual voters, and body language, tone, facial expression, a sense of empathy or connectedness that vibrates from this debate, often on a nonverbal level, is really going to be far more important than specific uh, uh, elaboration of policy ideas. As everyone's watching the presidential debate, it looks like there's now a battle for control of the Senate. The way I see it, Scott, uh, uh, Stephen Roberts, is that the polls are all over the place, and it could be Republicans maintaining control and or Democrats taking over. Well, that's still a possibility, and you're right. The polls have jumped all over in many states. Um, uh, and, and one of the big questions, of course, is uh, can Republicans in some key states uh, run ahead of the Trump ticket? Pennsylvania is a very good example. You have a uh, one-term uh, Republican uh, uh, incumbent, Senator Toomey. Um, and if uh, uh, Clinton wins that state, as the polls indicate, by, say, four, five, six points, uh, that's a big um, a mountain for Toomey to get over, uh, to run that far ahead of his own ticket. Uh, and there are some states, including Missouri, uh, that were not on the radar screen of national politicians early on. Uh, but um, if you're Senator Blunt today, you got to be a lot more worried than you were a month ago. Uh, it's true in North Carolina, Senator Burr is facing a much tougher fight, fight than he, he imagined. Um, so um, you can... It, it, this result is very, still very much up in the air. It's much harder to predict in the presidential race. I, I got uh, 30 seconds or so, Stephen Roberts. I just don't see M Missouri going relatively safe for Trump and then turn around and not sending R Senator Blunt back to Washington, D.C. Well, look, that's the, uh, I think you're right that that's uh, certainly the uh, most likely outcome. Uh, one of the things that political scientists are saying is that, that there's been a sharp decline of ticket splitting voters in America. Uh, and that, so this is going to help uh, Senator Blunt in Missouri, uh, um, uh, but uh, it could hurt Senator Toomey in other Republicans in other states. Um, in states where Trump is going to win, like Missouri, um, this is going to help the incumbent Republicans. But you can look at three, four states uh, where um, the lack of ticket splitters could work against the Republicans. Stephen Roberts, have a good weekend. We'll talk to you on Monday. Okay, pal. 657, Big 5.